by the end of the series, I'll have either built a massive trucking empire or I'll have lost everything. If you enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Let's get into it. What's up, everybody? It is 6.44 p.m. in the game. We've got about three hours ahead of this drive yet. We're, leave, we're uh, starting off just where we left off last episode. If you have not seen the first episode in the survival trucking series, then go ahead and give that a watch as well. Now, I do want to be honest with you guys and say that the first episode didn't do too well, but I still want to give this a try. I think it's something you guys will enjoy, and it's something that I will enjoy doing as well. Currently, we've got about $9,065 in the bank account. We've got our least Penske truck here, which I'll... Oh, oh my God. What have... What... Oh, what is happening? Oh my God. What did I do? What did I do, dude? I picked up a keyboard, bro. I picked up a keyboard. Okay, I gotta be honest. I don't I don't know where we left off. I don't know what I was even doing or talking about. Oh, I remember now. I was gonna show you our rental truck. Let's do it at this red light. So it's maybe a little easier this time. All right, quickly, let's hop out and take a look. There it is, the Penske rental truck making us money today. What are y'all doing over there? Are y'all having a party? <laughs> I don't think they're having a party. Oh, by the way, I guess I should tell you, we're hauling raw milk to Cheyenne, Wyoming today. That is what we've got in the tanker behind us. And we're going to be making about $720 off of this load. If we can get one more load in today, then we can earn just barely enough to pay for the truck. Oh boy, this whole truck and business is gonna be rough, isn't it? What's diesel fuel? Oh, at those prices? Yep, I'm hurting, I'm crying. Oh, Douglas and Gillette exit coming up here in about a mile. Got about 153 miles until we need to be getting anywhere though. So we're gonna be here for a minute. We're cruising along 70 miles an hour down the interstate. Speed limit out here is upwards of 80, but I just, I speed limit 75 now. I guess it's going down a little bit through town here. Yep, big old town, Jake. Good observation. Got about another two hours left on our drive. We're gonna be getting there about 9.40 p.m. And uh, I don't think our drive time is going to let us drive anything beyond this load today. Because we'll be two hours off of our seven. We'll take that 40 minutes as a little bit of a leeway. I mean, we could sneak another job in potentially. We'll see. We'll see how the clock is looking when we get there. It would be advantageous of us to uh, to get another load. Otherwise, we're going to be operating in the red for the day. You know, I got to say, nice thing about having a truck that barely has any power. I, um, I pretty much don't ever have to let off the throttle. This is the first time in probably... 50 miles that I've let off the throttle. Oh, and I, re I regret it. We got hit with a hill. One, well, you know, what goes down must come up, right? My favorite place, Wheatland. Woo! I love that place. What a good place, Wheatland. It's where they make your frosted flakes, actually. That's not true at all, probably. Maybe. I honestly don't know, so I'm not going to claim to know either way. Sorry, people. Gilbert is about to explode with what I'm about to say. I, but <laughs> hear me out. <laughs> Any of y'all ever watch Pickleball? <laughs> Let me explain. Okay, I, I've been I've been watching Pickleball recently. I don't know why. I just randomly was like, hmm, I remember that from like high school PE class. I wanna play Pickleball or at least watch somebody play it. So yeah, I, I've, I've kind of picked up watching Pickleball and I gotta say it looks like a lot of fun and I kind of want to play. I don't know. Am I weird? Is that a weird... Or is it destiny? Is it destiny that the formal pickle plays pickleball? I just think it has to be, man. Let me know in the comments down below. Have you ever played pickleball? Let me know if you like it. What you think of it? I, I love the game, actually. I, I quite enjoyed playing it. And I, I want to play it right now. I still... It's been days. I've been watching pickleball for days. And I still am like, I want to play that right now. Sir, 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 sir. You're going to... Sir, sir. Sorry. The Wyoming Department of Transportation suggests that I take this at 20 miles per hour. And that I also refrain from hitting cars, but we know I don't do that very often. Refrain. I, I hit cars quite often. Sorry if I'm going slow, everybody. I don't know where I am. This looks, this looks promising. Hello? Are you an entrance? You're going to be. Oh, it's an exit. Shoot. Hey, uh, fellas? The entrance is the next one down there. Just thought I'd let y'all know. I was just checking for us. Turns out you can go in exits. Just kind of a, 
kind of a no-no. Now you might be wondering, Jake, why are we pulling into here? Well, I wanted to use the restroom and also I got to fuel up anyways. We got about half a tank, might as well fill her up here. All right, we just got fueled up and uh, it cost us $338 to fill half a tank, dude. $338 dollars oh my and our destination is about nine miles down the road this way we're gonna get dropped off we'll probably have we're not gonna have enough time to do another run are we yeah what's that boss where do you want it right up here okay sure thing okay i see it there it is you know what i'm gonna swing in and come at it a different direction here as long as we don't spin that back too much there we can just spin this right on around just like so get it kind of pointed in that direction a little bit swing it back this way there we go all right let's see how we look in here oh oh that's beautiful oh yeah dude let's just walk it right back and in trying to watch this reefer trailer next to it is really screwing with me i'm trying to figure out my placement but i gotta be honest that one reefer on our far side something about it is just throwing me off I think we'll be fine. Get it right back and in. I know our nose is clear because we did full circle on that side. Yes, sir. Pretty much in the line. A little bit on the line because I can't remember if this is an in the line or on the line situation. So I'm going to do a little bit of both. And check that out. You know what? That is a darn good parking job if I do say so myself. Drop the trailer and get paid today. 11 or 10, 11 is when we got dropped. Made $720. And let's see, what do they got? They got a load going down to Denver for 620. They got a load here. This load's a little bit more for 750. Let's take this job right here. I think we should be able to. Okay, we have enough time to at least get our load picked up and probably get over to that truck stop for the night. So I'm gonna find our load, which is, I think it might be around the other side. Let's go see. Ah, ah, ah. There she is right there. She'd be along the wall. Found her. And I kind of want to swing in at it another way, but this yard jockey is kind of in my way there. All right, there she is in all her butte. Let's get loaded up so we can get out of here. All right, getting everything loaded up, ready to go here. We've got two hours and 30 minutes until we need to stop. And we've got 17 hours until this job needs to get to where it needs to go and only two hours until it needs to be there. So we technically could get there. The problem is, I don't honestly think we will. I just don't think we've got two hours and 13 minutes according to the GPS on the drive. We've got two hours and 30 minutes on our, um, on our ELD. Now we could make that potentially, but it just feels too close, man. So I think we're going to go up here to this truck stop. But I'm going to stop right here, get my paperwork in order, talk to the uh, guard shack, and uh, I'll check in with you guys in a moment. All right, guys, we're pulling up to the truck stop. We've got about an hour 56 left on our drive time. So I was right. We were not going to be able to... Uh, <laughs> we were not going to be able to make it there in time. So we're going to pull in, find us a nice, easy spot to park. I think this one actually right here right there park and brake lights out engine brake off and y'all we will catch you in the morning <sighs> morning <laughs> you like my imitation of the ats yawn i think we should be good to go i'm ready to hit the road nine thousand four hundred and forty seven dollars is what we're starting out with in the bank account today it's 8 58 in the morning so it's about 9 a.m start time all right i think we'll be taking a left hand turn clear left clear right let's get on down the road and i was not watching that deal to see where the way station is straight straight okay we have to go straight through the roundabout to the way station here because we're getting called in Kind of an annoying way station, honestly, the way it's designed, but I guess here we go. That's a rest area, port of entries to the left. Okay, so we got to go around a roundabout in a semi-trailer, mind you. What? Y'all go... Y'all ain't about to... Y'all really gonna send me up here? All the way up here. You gonna send me... 
All the way up here, cause you wanna weigh me. Nah, give me a ticket. Catch me, catch me outside. How about that? Okay, I'm not. What an old reference. Dude, this is redonkulous, bro. Redonkulous. You really gonna shift me into opposite lane on the interstate? And now I have to go to the next exit to turn my happy butt around to be going the right direction just cause you wanna weigh me? Put them on both sides or, or, or get off of my back, please. Seriously? You're getting greedy now, Wyoming DOT, all right? You've caught your first L, sir, okay? We're no longer buddy-buddy anymore, you and I. You and I is now enemies. At least tell me this lane continues all the way. Okay, well, that's a little better. You know, at least I get to stay in the exit, but still, dude. You're really gonna send me all the way back up here? Now, if I go down there, they're gonna remember that I weighed, right? They're not gonna be like, oh, God, I'll weigh again. And I'm gonna be like, what do you mean? High Plains Road. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna circle this area right here and I'm just gonna put it as a no drive zone. We'll take detours instead. Oh, good news, everyone. This bridge we're about to finally pass. Now we're finally making progress on our journey today. We're going to Colorado, honk, honk. Oh. Oh, what are you gonna, oh, 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 why? Hello, how are you today? You better thank me, bucko. We're starting to get into the, uh, the heart of things here. So I gotta be paying attention to my lanes and stuff, knowing where we are. We've got traffic stacked up on our inside. Got traffic stacked up ahead of us. I mean, this is, this is accurate. Oh my gosh, look at all of them. Look at all of them, dude. Oh, wow. Oh my lord. Oh, and I think I need over there, son. Oh, 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 and then we got hit by that guy. Dang it. I thought we were going to get through with it. Oh, traffic accident. Oh, but we never got fined. We never got fined and there's no damage. Maybe no damage to the truck. I'm going to call it a not an accident. Also, my, I think my road up here is closed. Oh, you guys have no idea how tempted I am. Okay, well, I see where the accident is. It's right there. So if I can... Yeah, we have a way around it. We have a way around it. We'll be fine. Ah, uh, this is a little awkward. Hi, everyone. My name is Jake, and I'm clogging up two lanes at once. Oh, that's... It's green! Come on, let me... Let me hop the curb. It's green. I mean, it's I'm gonna be here for 40 minutes if I don't... Come on. Come on, guys. Let me, it's, oh, you're teasing me. You're teasing me. No. Oh, I gotta hit, I gotta sit through a whole cycle. Oh my gosh. Well, I might as well just put in like a 30 minute time off request or something while I sit at this red light, dude. Jeez. <gasps> Green light. Go, 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 go. I'm so excited. We're moving again. Woo. Oh, oh, look at this. Is this one of those? Hold on. You got to wait to get on the, have you seen that? Where you got on the like ramp to get onto the freeway. You've got stoplights. That's what those are. That is wild, dude. And like you let one lane go, then the next lane go. And it tries to time you so you can get into with the traffic. That's how you know there's way too many cars on the road is when you have to stop to get on the freeway. Yeah, you know, it's almost like if uh, governments would invest into alternative forms of transportation, such as uh, trains, monorail, buses, and you know, other things like that, you know, there'd actually be less drivers on the road. So those that want to drive would have an even more pleasant experience. But wh what do I know? If this turns into an exit, by the way, I'm going to be very upset. Don't be an exit. Don't be an exit. Don't be an exit. You're an exit. Oh, oh no, no, no. Take taxis. I want this seat back. This is my spot. Yeah, thank you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I lied, I lied, I want it over here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't mean to lie to everyone, but I am a, I, I just, we made it, it's fine. It was maybe sketchy, but it was fine. Expect the delivery very soon. Look, look, I got hit with a freaking detour. I had to go to downtown Denver. I'm not happy about it, so shut up, okay? I don't care that you're not happy about it either. Yeah, you know what? I think we're gonna get this load dropped off. I'm pulling over to that truck stop and I'm taking a lunch cause uh, I need to get out of this cabin. I think I'm losing some oxygen. You know what? Actually, hold on, let's just do that. Ah, so much better. All right, we need a, I've already got it on the paperwork actually, which dock we're looking for. So it should be up here to the right, I believe. Just looking for which one. I think it's gonna be one of these right here, maybe. Yep, I think it's this one right here. Okay. 
Watch me fail. Here we go. Okay, good news, bad news. Good news is I was lining up for the right one. Bad news is I was lining up for the wrong line on the right one. So we need to go back this way for a wee bit. And then I'll bring it back this way. There we go. Looking good, looking good. We're still on that passenger side heavy. But I should be able to swing it back. And yep. Yep, I'll take that. And in the spot, right there it is. Beautiful. All right, let's get this trailer dropped off here. And that's going to be it for this video. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace. Uh -huh.